Yo, what go on internet? Guys, the links there. So, thanks to Ayelua Isaiah from Nigeria. Um, I have learned how to get front-end development plugins set up on Linux. So, Ayelua has put together a nice article that uh, basically covers all of the JavaScript plugins that make them better to use. Uh, when I say better to use, I mean for those of us who are very used to things like Atom, or editors like Atom and uh, Sublime Text um, that provide syntax highlighting out of the box and autocomplete, etc. Today, I am just focusing on getting syntax highlighting set up for JavaScript, and I'm also just focusing on getting Emmet set up for HTML5 development. So let's jump in and run through this quickly without talking too much. All right, so first things first, we need a plugin manager for Vim. You can use anyone. Uh, he recommends Vim plug, so that's what I used. And um, I actually enjoy it. I set this up on my laptop and uh, it's pretty straightforward. So we're gonna jump over to the Vim plug page on GitHub. I will post this link in the description as well as a link to Ayalua's uh, article. So, Vimplug, plugin manager, real simple. You can use curl to get it installed or you can use wget, no big deal. So I'm gonna use wget just because I like using that. Um, you need to make sure that in your .vim directory, you have an auto load directory created, right? So I don't have that currently, I'm going to get that set up now. So I'm in my home directory and I'm going to make a directory in .vim called auto load, right? So if we ls vim, we see the auto load directories there. Awesome. We're gonna cd into vim dot vim uh, auto load, right? And from here we're going to wget run the wget command. Whoop. My bad. And we are going to just copy the link location for download plug dot vim. This here. That's it. All right. So. Now we have the plug, uh, the plug plugin <laughs> for Vim um, placed in the auto load directory. If we list it out, there it is right there. So we can hop out. Now the next thing you want to do is create a directory for your plugins. And I recommend, well not, well I don't recommend, the, uh, the guide actually recommends not using a directory called plugins or plugin because Vim has a directory called plugin or plugins and I believe Neo Vim as well so there may be conflicts uh, so call it anything you want I'm gonna call it plugged because that's what's listed in the article so we're going to make directory plugged and when we list them out we have auto load now and we have plug great so the next thing we need to do is edit our Vim RC file Right, and that's where we have the our configuration for Vim, all our fun settings, plugins we like to use, etc., um, set up in that file. So from down here, we can use this example that they provide. I'm not going to copy and paste all this because it's unnecessary. But the key pieces of this example are call plug begin, and then the path to the directory where you're going to have your plugins installed using um, Vim plugin or Vim plug, excuse me. And so that's one, and then also the call plug end, because that it lets uh, Vim plug know to stop looking for plugins to install. In between that, we're going to use this fun thing here, which is plug and the shorthand path to a GitHub repository. I think this is awesome. The way that this is set up is great. So let's do that now. We're gonna use Vim, uh, vimrc. And so my VimRC already has the information included, but let's let's just remove this for the sake of uh, showcasing it. And I will demonstrate how to get it set up. Very simple. So you can just copy and paste this, or we can type it out. Let's type it out. So call. Whoop, forgot to insert. Call. Plug. Pound begin. And then we are going to. I just like to do this first. Add my quotes and parentheses first. All right, so we're going to go to our home directory and gonna add in the path. So home vim 
plug, which is the name of the new directory we've created, right? Awesome. Now we're gonna jump down and we are going to add the plugins that we want included here. So plug, don't forget capital P, plug. Now there are two plugins I'm gonna include. I'm gonna include Emmet and I'm gonna include Vim Poly uh, Polyglot. Now Vim Polyglot is a, it's basically like a giant list of like a hundred different plugins um, that include like syntax highlighting, autocomplete, etc. Uh, I don't know if it's just for JavaScript. I think it's for several programming languages. But the cool thing about it is it only initializes uh, the plugins that you need based on what you tell it to initialize or based on the file type that you're using. So it's great. It doesn't load in all the uh, different plugins that are attached to it at once and then slow down the, <clears throat> excuse me. So it's pretty awesome. So what we're gonna do is plug, and I think I have it here. So Sharon Vim Polyglot, yeah, this is it here. So you can just copy this, or like I said, we can type it out. So Sharon Vim dash Polyglot. You done goo. So that's the first plugin. And then the second one is Emmet. So it's plug Matt and, oh, Matt with two T's and one A. Matt N slash, I think it's Emmet Vim. So E M M E T dash Vim. Close the quote. And then now the other important piece that I mentioned before, call plug N. So let, letting um, Vim plug know it's time to no longer look for anything else. We're all set. All right, all done there. So now we can write and quit and we should be good to go. So let me fire up Vim. Yeah. So now we're going to install those two plugins. So adding them to the Vim RC file is only the first part. You have to actually make Vim plug run um, from within Vim. And the way that we do that is semicolon, I mean, excuse me, colon, I think it's plug install. Yeah, so colon, capital P, plug, and then capital I, install, um, all one word, hit enter, and there we go. So we have got, oh, what is this? Looks like we've got an error, and I have not seen this one, so let's check this out. Cloning into home, vim, plug, vim, polyglot. Could not read username. Hmm. I might have typed the username incorrectly, so we'll get that fixed. But Emmet installed correctly. Um, resolving Delta is 100%. So this is good. Um, Vim Polyglot, on the other hand, we've messed up, or I've messed up, excuse me. So let's get that resolved real quick. Going to back out of here. And then, then I see. All right. Oh, I spelled Polyglot incorrectly. Look at that. Paul G. Glott. <laughs> it's my fault. My apologies. So we're going to just fix that real quick. So it's probably Glott. That's it. There's, there's no extra G, guys. All right. Right. All right, cool. Right and quit. And now we're going to run them again. Okay. And I'll do this part slower this time. So it is colon plug install and then hit enter. So it's letting us know Emmet Vim is already installed. Great. And now Vim Polyglot has been installed. Awesome. So first thing we can test, we'll test Emmet since that one was installed correctly first. So I'm going to just make a, let's uh, Vim index.html. All right. So let's test Emmet. So we're going to do HTML, HTML colon five and then control Y comma and look at that boom and now we have the skeleton of an HTML5 doc which is pretty awesome uh, oh we also have uh, syntax highlighting as well so I'm not sure if that's Vim polyglot doing that or if this is Vim by default this might be Vim by default so great and now we're gonna test out Vim polyglot by opening up a JavaScript file and making sure that syntax highlighting is working correctly on there so right and quit and then now I think I have a 
JavaScript doc here somewhere. I do. Okay. So, um, yeah, so then sound js awesome and there we go so yeah and it's even highlighting the ecma script six um syntax like const uh i don't see let here but yeah so that i, I believe that this is because of vim polyglot not necessarily because of vim by default because i don't think vim 8 uh, highlights or uh, highlights the ECMAScript 6 syntax. I could be wrong about that though, but I'm, I feel like it doesn't though. I feel like I've read that it doesn't do that and that's why I need the plugin. But anyway, but that's it. So Vim Polyglot, um, Emmet, and Vim Plug uh, to get those two plugins installed. And you've basically got yourself a simple front end development setup, uh, very basic bare bones front end development setup in Vim. Uh, right on Linux, right in your command line. So give it a shot. I hope this video was helpful. And, uh, you know, let me know in the comments if it was. Apologies for the rambling and, again, the echoey sounds of this room. Uh, but, yeah, that about covers it. So with all that being said, this has been Kai Linux. And remember, no matter what destroy you use, out of many, one Linux. Give thanks. Peace. Now we